Hello, hello. We are back with Terra Nullius side stories, and um, th we have a captain who's very, very mad at you. Um, <laughs> and Zoom is once again making me really glitchy. I don't think it stopped. No, it, it did it's at one it. point. It was oh, actually it kind of oh, better. Okay. It just took a little while. All right, well, hopefully it will get better as well. So, Captain Ross is his name. Not Miggy. <laughs> no. no. Captain Ross. Ross looks over, or he walks up to you, Sayori, because he's kind of just decided that you're the leader of the party, because um, no one else was willing to take on the role. Um, and he, he goes over to you and he says, <clears throat> you know, we, we get the, like, you know, Saturday morning cartoon thing where, like, we see the last 10 seconds of the previous, like, scene, right? And so we, we see him walk up to you again and say, we need to talk. What do you say? I, can, I just kind of nod, like, respectfully, like. <clears throat> I will not put my crew in danger for this, whatever it is that you're doing here. We, we I can't, understand. we can't stay here. I just stop him and I just go, okay, I know. Let us get on the rowboat. We'll go. No, it's not just that. I can't stay here with those things still running around if if they somehow got on the ship none of us saw them get on we don't know how they got on if if they're around here if they can just jump on my ship whenever they feel like it i have to leave and you can have one of the rowboats but i can't be around here we, we have to get to safer waters um he's like i i don't want to leave you stranded out here so we could Maybe set up a, a rendezvous of some sorts, um, a, a time to meet up. Um, but that's the best Sa I can offer. Sayori respects that a lot, actually. So she she's totally fine with that plan uh, because she's like, so I think she goes, uh, of course, Captain, I understand. I've lost my fair share of men. I would not ask you to put your men at risk at all for, for a couple strangers. Um, so if we could set up a rendezvous, that would be very helpful. But if you have to go do some, you know, you have to do what's best for your crew. And we, we you know, uh, you know, um, oh my gosh, uh, Gret will will heal your man as best he can. But you know, I, I never wished this to happen for your your man. So question for Sayori. I mean, I've already given you inspiration, but like, I'm just curious. Um, so was she a captain of a ship at one point? No, no, she okay. was like a. So she basically took passage on a ship because she wanted to go adventuring, and she was, like, their cook. But mm, she was, okay. like, the only, like, female on the oh, ship. Oh, so, you, so your claims of, it's okay, we can take over the ship. I've sailed before. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, so she's, she's a, actually sure. a sailor, too. Yeah. She, she, was, she was on the ship for, like, five years. So, like, okay. at some point or another, she eventually learned how to sail. But when she yeah. first got on, they were like, okay, well, what can you do for us to, like, get on this pass? And she's like, well, I can cook. <laughs> and they were like, sweet. Yeah. A female and you can cook? <laughs> <laughs> and then all of the men, like, proposed marriage to you on the spot. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of her, her backstory a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, she eventually became, like, awesome and learned how to sail, but that's how she started. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, no, she wasn't a captain. Yeah, so we see that glimpse into, into Sarah's past there. Um, and then, yeah, so uh, when do you want to, like, what, when, when's the rendezvous? How much time do you want to give yourselves? Um, is he with me at all or no? Yeah, whoever is there can can like whoever wants to be in this in this conversation can. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I would say I'd be over there. Um, I mean, here's the thing, right? Is that yes, Sayori was commissioned, but I feel like Yi specifically was picked to be commissioned by the cultists because they know that he knows Shayla and has a grudge against the cult. Uh, Sayori has no connection to this cult at all, really. Um, so I think she's like, I don't know, how much time do you think it'll take for us to be on the island? Like, you, you're the one mm -hmm. who, who's dealt with these people before. Um, well, how much, time, how much time will it take to row there from here, do you think? Uh, who are you asking? 
anybody who has more knowledge of so you're asking me as the gm probably boat. right <laughs> um well i'd be there too could i roll wisdom score or would that be wisdom uh i don't I, to know i mean probably it would be sayori <clears throat> sayori would be the one who would answer this question i'm sure okay. right um, she would actually know this um, so how would I do this? Like, because I have proficiency with vehicles that are water based. I, right. I think. So, oh, can you roll that? I think yeah, so. yeah. You can. Water based vehicles. Uh, yeah. I guess just roll that to, to like or, guesstimate. Well, because this isn't. I don't know if because I think this is a proficiency for actually doing the thing. I don't think this is. So maybe I would roll intelligence or wisdom to see like, i feel like you'd at least like if you don't have proficiency at least like have i mean doesn't it already it. doesn't it already add your um your like intelligence or whatever to it yeah but i'm just saying like the actual like yeah uh, I, I think uh, dd is weird sometimes where it doesn't have quite the skills that maybe or would be necessary to like know these things so like i i feel like that would be the role here i think that's the okay. that's the skill that you have that's kind of like encompasses all of your knowledge about ships is that proficiency um, so what am I adding? My intelligence or my wisdom? Um, I think your intelligence. Wisdom. <laughs> I don't have like an intelligence modifier. Like I have yeah. plus one. Um, or no, I have zero <laughs> modifier. So right, this is about like calculating distances. So do I just get? So do I just get advantage then, since I'm proficient in that, or, or no, I just don't get anything. Here, let me let me look at your character sheet. Um. So I just put it under tools, and then I just, yeah, I just put it under tools. Vehicle water. Because that's how it's categorized. It's categorized as a mm -hmm. tool kind of thing. Um, oh, it would be navigator's tools is what it would be. Oh, navigators tools. Yeah. Well, so yeah, I have both. I have proficiency with navigators tools and vehicle. Yeah, I think navigators tools will be the one, and then with intelligence. Um, yeah, and okay. I, you'll get a proficiency bonus for having the proficiency, but yeah, it'd be plus intelligence in this case. Okay, so yep. my so just click on it, and it'll qu qu query you. It's it looks like yeah. You know. For intelligence. Yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, not super yeah. So you're not entirely sure. It could be anywhere from like two hours to six hours of oh, okay. rowing yeah so i just say that i'm like you know depending on the waves and you know the weather well, it could take from two to six hours sayori just goes like this <laughs> two to six hours <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so i tell him to take two to six hours okay so Assuming that we could be rowing for 12 hours, plus rescuing Shayla. So... I mean, if it goes well, this could literally take a day. I mean, is there some sort of... Out. I would think, like, giving yourself two days would probably be a good bet. That's I, I was, was thinking, like, the... So it's like the beginning, it's about to be night right now. Yeah. So I was thinking not like the next morning, but the morning after that. So like 36 hours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that probably sounds good, right? Because so we'd, give escape, us like, we, we'd escape in the night. night. Yeah. yeah. So it would give us a night to get there, an entire day to do whatever there. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. And if okay. you don't see us, and I, and I tell him, I'm like, if you don't see us, We'll figure it out. Make a persuasion check. Just to see how, like, this generally goes over. It's not not that he's just, like, an abandon you or whatever, but, like, I just want to see how he, like, just kind of takes this Dang. in stride. Yeah, and I think I think he looks at you and he says, no, no, no. We'll do better than that. We'll... I'm, I'm abandoning you as it is, so I... We'll stay around for as long as we can, and then even after that, I'll, we'll... Retreat to safer waters and then come back the morning after that. If we don't find you then, then I'll have to leave. But I'll give you that much at least. Thank you, Captain. Of course. Actually, I don't think I do that. I think I bow a little bit. Right. That's more, that sounds more like a monk <laughs> than <Yeah>. this. <laughs> <clears throat> 
<laughs> so what um were you like on a Japanese ship? Um what kind of ship were you on? Not necessarily no. I think that no, actually I don't. I think she was on a ship with a with like a bunch of different like they weren't pirates, but they were definitely like they're all adventurers kind of thing. Um and so they all came they were like there were dwarves, yeah. there were humans, there were elves, like they yeah, they yeah. just traveled everywhere. Sure. So um, But you you like left from a Japanese port probably, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, so um they they start to like head out. They you you've saved their their you know the lives of their crew. Um none of them like died instantly, so that 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 was that was nice. Um and uh <clears throat> Yeah, I think they, they just like kind of like dumped the body of the quicklings over, <laughs> overboard. <laughs> and they're just like, bye. Yeah, they're pretty things. small. Yeah, hey, that wasn't bad. No actual casualties. <laughs> yeah, no actual casualties. Yeah. Um, and then yeah. So, are you guys planning on taking a short rest before you head out? Well, I uh, think like one of us can row while the others short rest, right? While we're I can do that. I will not be very helpful rowing. Probably. Gret has Gret has strength. Um. Gret has strength, 19. Yeah, I'm not going to be super helpful. I'm just I'm curious. Not. I'm you curious if I have completely, like, mis misconstrued, like, how long you could row a, a boat for without, like, just, like, dying of exhaustion. Um, <laughs> I really don't know anything about this, so I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> um, if that's, like too long a thing yeah um, well short rest is just a half hour isn't it it's an hour oh it's an hour it's okay. an hour no I, I mainly i'm just wondering about like the two to six hours that i gave you right like yeah. um but uh i mean whatever unless someone like in the chat happens to be an expert about rowboats and just decides to like correct me then i guess that's what it is um so i would imagine if we take turns like you know between yeah. me and gret like it wouldn't be that that and i'm probably used to that you know mm -hmm. yeah i, I mean I have a strength of 19 and a constitution of 15, so. Mm -hmm. um, so I think how I want to do it is will, I mean, you guys are obviously going to row. Um, there are a couple things that definitely need to happen here. Um, if you're going to try to do a short rest, right, like that's the thing we can do, but um, to actually get there, um, Sayori, you're probably going to have to make like a navigator's tools roll um, to like navigate you correctly there. And then, um, Gret, I think, we well, that's the thing. You can't, once it gets dark, you're not going to be able to, like, there, there aren't, like, torches on it. Like, you know, they, they don't, like, light We have no lighthouse. Anybody. Yeah, Got like, it. very specifically, they wouldn't do but that. But don't we have, like, yeah, we have the moon and the... Exactly, yeah, and so you can very easily navigate. I, I'm, so, I'm sure that Surya can manage it, um, but at least given enough time, um, because she knows this stuff. But it would just be a matter of, it would just be a matter of, like, how quickly, um, it would, it would take. Uh, or how long it would take. Um, and so I think what we probably do is have Sayori make that navigator's tools roll and then have Gret make a strength roll. Using what? Uh, using intelligence again. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, Gret... oh wow. Uh, That's pretty bad. We both rolled bad. So, uh, Yi, are you helping at all during this process? Um, at the beginning, I'm taking a short rest. So I'm rolling a hit die. <laughs> oh, nice okay. hit dice. Nice. <laughs> uh, so we're all like working hard trying yeah. to figure stuff and out. And he's, he's just, just like just taking like... a nap. <laughs> um, excuse me, I was wounded and not healed by anybody. Because I didn't want to waste my spells. Yeah, you didn't think it was a waste to heal somebody else, but that's fine. I thought she was going to run off and get in the fight. No. Oh, it's not like I was the one right next to the door. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah. So after that, like, I'll help, but I wanted to get a short rest in first. Mm -hmm. So what would I roll to be helping? Um, I mean, really, you'd just be giving advantage to one of them, but even with advantage, like, neither Our of those rolls are good. Still <clears throat> both. So great. I think what happens, so ye are, I think, I think what happens is it takes long enough that everybody, um, mark one level of exhaustion. Um, oh no. Where? 
Um, yeah, there, uh, there might be a place on your care sheet to do that. I don't. I thought, I thought you had to roll constitution saves to like do that. Let me look at exhaustion. Because I thought that you had to roll a constitution save to see whether or not you take mm -hmm. uh, hit points. That's what I thought it was. So. Um, so the special abilities and environmental hazards, such as starvation and the long-term effects of freezing or star scorching temperatures, can lead to a special condition called exhaustion. Um... <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't say there's like a specific constitution check you have to make, but I, I'll give you that. So you have to make a constitution save, or else take take a level of exhaustion. I think. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so um, DC thirteen, I think. Constitution saving throw. Yes. Ooh, I save. Woo! Uh oh. Ye does it, so even though ye, she's not doing anything. <laughs> ye takes a level of exhaustion. So what that means is... Disadvantage um, on all saving dis, No, disadvantage on all ability checks. Checks. Okay, yeah. that's... Um, so not attack rolls or saving throws, but everything else. Is there anything else besides the ability check thing? Nope, that's it. No. Okay. Um, I think I want to... So how long does it take us to get there, then? It takes basically like the full six hours. Um, oh no! So in between that time, I want to also take a short rest, and I want to meditate for thirty minutes so I can get my key points. Back. Sure, yeah, they can do that. Yeah, that makes sense. At some point, I had such a low constitution save as well. I'm also gonna get a little seasick. <laughs> makes sense. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna keep going because <laughs> I'm a beast. Apparently, yep. nice. Beast. Good job, Gret. <laughs> I get all my hit points back. Hoo -hoo. Awesome. Yeah. So, you guys get to the island. Um, it is... Let's see. If you guys left at, like... I don't know. 9... Uh, like, yeah, 9 p.m. And, yeah, 6 hours. So, it's, like, 3 a.m. Um, so, you... You know, we, we see, like, the light of the moon... Um, the only illumination, basically, um, on this, uh, kind of partially cloudy night, um, as you, uh, drag your boat up onto the shore. Um, so, what's the plan here, exactly? Are you gonna hide the boat? Um... Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, yeah, so if someone wants to make a stealth check to hide this Not boat, me! Not me! Sounds like something you would be good at. I have I disadvantage, I have... but I also have a plus eight modifier. Mm -hmm. uh... I mean, if someone can help her and just give her advantage, right? So I have, um, I have a six to stealth. But wait, she already has this advantage. So, yeah, if so... helping her, that's just a straight roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with a plus eight mod. I mean, to be honest, what would be better? And this is if just meta gaming. Exactly. Have you help Sayori? Yeah. <laughs> you know just boats. Be advantage. Yeah. You know how to handle boats, and I can. Yeah. So I'll. I'll really as they're it. as they're hiding the boat, yeah. Gret is gonna cast detect magic as a ritual. Twenty four. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I very much doubt that anyone will find this boat. Um, so yeah, you you hide the boat, and uh, yeah, Gret, you don't see anything magical within thirty feet of you while they're hiding the boat. Um, Still, it's like I have it. Is it an hour length? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's again, this is a an island. Um, it's it's not. I guess it's like. It has vegetation, but not like a whole lot. It's not like a like a deserted like jungle island or whatever. Um, you're in the Mediterranean, so it's not like it wouldn't be jungle anyway. Um, it's you know lightly populated by trees and stuff. Um, but basically, it's like just like the island is more or less just a hill. That's basically what it is, um, with some like cliffs and then like a beach. Um, and then uh, yeah, you just make your way, and there's a big fortress on the hill. Um, so what's the plan to like get up there without being spotted? What are you guys gonna do? <laughs> that's a great question how tall is, is it like a castle it's is it like, like yeah, a legit castle um is there are there like people on the roof looking out or anything i mean you can make a very difficult perception check yeah with disadvantage let's go <laughs> six uh you see nothing um I excellent wanna, I, I wanna do one too Oh crap! 
No, why not? You Let's see, see a see. little bit less of nothing, but still nothing. Let's see what I see. Oh! oh. I, I mean, if it's a disadvantage, that's a crit fail. You think that at one point you see movement of something on top of there, but there's no torches, there's nothing, like, you, 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 re and who knows, it might just be a trick of the light. Um, yeah, you have no idea. It's more of the fairy things. <laughs> I hope not. I, I mean, they are fairy things, I don't know. Those words are, words are basically synonyms, but yeah. Like, if we are looking around up there, like, are there, is there, like, an entrance to this fortress? Like, what? Yeah, there's the, basically, like, a, like, a sandy path that just leads straight to, like, the front door. Um, oh. And there's cliffs surrounding it on every other side. So you'd have to climb up cliffs to, like, approach it from another angle. So I think I'll just walk up the cliff. <laughs> walk up the cliff? Oh, right, because you have the... Yeah, the slippers, slippers of spider, spider climbing. climbing. There's no checks involved. I just walk up. So, with Yee, my feet. can you tell us a story quick of how you managed to get these and like what they look like and stuff? Um, so I obviously got them after mm -hmm. uh, our last session, or else I probably would have used them at some point. Uh, during crush that old man. That. <laughs> yeah, probably. True. true. Um, he stole them off his body. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know why he would have those. Um, so as I was kind of like, I knew I was going to make my way out of the city. So I was like, okay, well, I'm probably never going to come back here again. There's no reason for me to, to come back. So I might as well, um, you know, I could make a little trouble for myself and then just never <laughs> be seen again and just have this town as an X on my map that I am not supposed to come back to. So I looked around for like a nice looking shop or something and my shoes had been a little worn. So I found a fancy shop and I just took some shoes um, and I put them on and then went to sleep and I woke up and I realized that I could walk on things that I shouldn't be able to walk on. So yeah, that's how I got my slippers of spider climbing. I didn't even realize they were magical when I got them. That sounds like something that would happen to ye, yeah. Yep, I just wanted some new shoes and they looked <laughs> nice. They have like a webbing pattern on them. Of like course, it's like Spidey course. suit. Except yeah, <laughs> it's like just Spider-Man's, <laughs> yeah, the spandex of Spider-Man's suit, but only on your feet. Yeah, they that's looked awesome. like they would be really good like for being quiet. Mm-hmm. And yeah, while they don't give you magical stealth abilities, they do let you magically. Yeah, before walk before I knew they were magic, they just looked like they wouldn't make a lot of noise mm -hmm. as I was walking yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, spandex doesn't make a whole lot of noise when you're stepping on it. You know. Um. So, is the plan to like have ye walk up the cliff and then like drop a rope down? Does that sounds good? I do have rope. I do too. It's the one thing I, I have. <laughs> Um, I, yeah. I kind of wanted to take a movable rod, but I know that Jordan... I was really close to taking the move. If we both <laughs> took a movable rod, we could easily... Well, I, I was going to take one, but I know Jordan wants one. I didn't want to steal his fun. <laughs> really, you need at least three for to actually like do a ladder out of it. Um, it'd be very difficult to like hold like one hand and just be like... Yeah. <laughs> Greg could probably do it. Probably. Um, so I think... What I want to do is have ye make a a dexterity save so that you're not gonna get disadvantage. So don't worry, not gonna get, get, get disadvantage <laughs> on this. Okay. Um, but this is basically so that um you don't tie it wrong and like it like comes undone. Um. Okay. For the rest. that's why it'd be a save instead of a check. Um, because it's like actually. No, nah, because save is like dodging out of the way of something. Actually, okay, yeah, so I think it would be a check. So, so dexterity. But you can go ahead and take inspiration for um, telling us the story of how you got your your slippers, um, if you wanted to use that. Um, okay, so I just hit dexterity, so I wouldn't get like a proficiency. proficiency yeah, yeah, it's just gonna be dexterity because you're literally just tying a rope. Yeah, there's not a skill for that. Really. Okay, I think I'm pretty good at tying rope, so I'm just gonna you know do it at disadvantage. It'll be okay. fine. 
six. Oh, no. Awesome. All right, so Sayori and Gret, would you make athletics checks for me or acrobatics, whichever is higher? I'm honestly glad I didn't take inspiration, use inspiration for that, because, you know, 11's not that much better. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, oh Greg. No. <laughs> well. I'm going on my own, guys. I have a plus six. So what I ends up happening? Four. Right, so I was going to say, like, if you got high enough, you would have managed to, like, get up without the rope, like, you know, still. But you guys make enough, you, you jostle it around enough that I think you guys are going to make halfway up the cliff, and then you fall. Um, so halfway? How tall is this cliff? Uh, well, so I, I imagine there's like multiple like levels of this cliff. So it's like one of the cliffs that you'd have to climb up. There's like two or three. Um, and so you you found a spot that you could like like a ledge that they could climb up to, and then you're like making like different in rounds. Um, so make acrobatics checks again, Sayori and Gret. Athletics. Uh, or... Acrobatics for this one. Oh no, I have a minus yeah, one. Yeah, it has to be acrobatics. Ooh. Oh, oh frick! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Well, I rolled horribly and got minus one to it. All right, so um, let's see. How much damage do you take per ten feet of falling? Uh, I want to say it's like something around a d10 or something. I know it's a decent amount. Of, I know it's enough to kill someone because it's happened before. The it's environment fun. falling. At level okay. four, I get slow fall, but uh -huh. I don't get. But I saved uh, one d six per ten feet. So, um, I'm gonna roll three d six. Three Gret, damage. Gret, you take the full damage. Sarah, you take half damage. A three d six. Mm-hmm. You just fell thirty feet. Oh. So, Gret, you take thirteen damage, and that Sarah, like, you take uh, you take six. That knocked me like to half. So yeah, gonna... it's a bad fall. Um, make a uh, let's see, make stealth checks, everybody. Oh, this is gonna get worse, guys. Also, I do want to say while I'm like Ouch. waiting for them oh. to climb up, I'm not standing on the on top of the cliff. I'm standing like. <gasps> like sideways so like nobody is just gonna like look and yeah, see me yeah, yeah, yeah. i just want to go ahead and say that uh, sure, before yeah. i roll so you, mine can, you can do that with advantage i think mine so it'll be a straight roll yeah wait was mine with disadvantage plus two it okay. so it's a, it, it is a 26 yeah um yeah so Yi's not obviously not being found um and yeah siori is probably fine too Gret, you make a bit more noise falling i'm wearing um, chain man yeah it's totally understandable sure. right like it makes perfect sense um no one like comes necessarily like you just suddenly you don't get suddenly swarmed by like fake creatures um but uh but yeah so like there's this awkward moment right where like right you've made a lot of noise and you all just wait in silence for a while like expecting anyone to like just like come in and like attack you and then like a couple minutes pass and nothing happens you don't hear anything what are you gonna do now um so i'm guessing the rope dropped back down yeah so I'll go retrieve the rope, and I'll ask Sayori if she could show me how to tie, like, good sailor's knots. Mm. So roll it again, but with advantage. Yeah. Or, or straight roll. A straight roll, yeah. No, no, it would be... Oh, yeah, yeah, straight roll. I okay. just want to use your inspiration. Nah, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually used that last time. I know. So I tell her to stay down and show me okay <laughs> so i see that she's doing it half adequately but like not good enough to where it's gonna hold us up and i say give it to me <laughs> and then i want to roll it so that's the thing like she's she has to do this alone because she literally walked up the wall so she does no, this no she's down she came down to do it and i like she was her. watching me do the knot apparently Right, but that, that that was the thing. Like that would have yeah. all been a part of you giving her the advantage, and so this yeah. role was her being at the top, yeah, making making the role. Um, so, Sierra and Gret make uh, athletics I'm gonna, or acrobatics I'm gonna turn checks to, again. I'm gonna turn to Sierra and say, "You you first this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I, I can go I'm, one at a time. <clears throat> I will wait. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll go. I'll be brave. Uh, acrobatics." Uh, yeah, so acrobatics and uh, great, you can do athletics when you do it, but yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yes. So Sayori gets to the top. I would Fine. I would tell her to check my knot. Sure. Yeah. So like you can, uh, if you want to check her knot, Sayori, I think you can like um make uh, Sayori, you make a dexterity check. Dexterity check or yeah. save check. Just a dexterity check. Yeah. There you go. Now it's a twenty. So you have just changed the roll of the rope to a twenty. Um, so I like just tie it like just a little tighter, like yeah. a little better. <laughs> so Gretz is safe now. <laughs> I go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so uh, athletics. Yeah. Come on, don't roll. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I think. I think what happens is the uh, uh, series roll makes it just good enough that you, you when you fall, you're at, almost at the top, which means that Yi and Sayori, Yi and or Sayori could try to catch you before you fall to your death. <laughs> um, if Sayori like helps him up, I would want to walk under him and kind of like push him up. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Okay, so um, I think I think just make another athletic check. <laughs> Me? Yes, with advantage though. Why am I rolling so horrible? Oh, there we go. There we okay. go. There you go. Okay, so you you do manage to do that and and push him up. Um, it's not the and quietest like thing in the world. Grab his hand. Uh huh. Yeah, and you manage to get them up. Uh, I'm gonna turn to them like, I'm, not, I am not sure. I am not sure. I t trust your rope. <laughs> so I think because I think since you figured it out now, I think um ye. Like, Sierra, you can, like, give her pointers again and be like, okay, no, this, this is how you do it. Like, um, you can do the next one at, at advantage. Uh, ye. Well, with straight roll. Um, the no, like, just straight at advantage. Okay. <clears throat> okay, because I got yeah multiple exact... That's, then definitely not how advantage works, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> but it's was... fine. Yeah. I'm refusing to use my inspiration for something as silly as a rope. I'm just waiting for the silly moment where I have to rope. cast... I'm just waiting for the moment where I have to cast Healing Word as I'm falling. As <laughs> you're falling to your death. Like, dear Lord, please, please. Wait, so what religion are you? I, oh, that, I never got my backstory, did I? So, I mean, let's wait on that until we get to a moment where that, like, yeah. that would come up, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So, we're, we're still going? Roll, yep. Okay, so, can we find Make a Make dexterity check. Me? For, for the what? Next, there's like another ledge. Oh, remember? oh, okay, okay. Do I have anything to help me not Wait, die? Wait, I thought right? like I thought 24. Like... <laughs> or it's a natural 20 if it's at advantage. Yep, yep, so, yep. Um, natural I think... 20 uh, plus, no, just kidding, not plus two because it's a check. So now, Sayori and Gret, you can both make your rolls at advantage because the roll is so high there. Wait, but I already made it up. Didn't yes, there's there's multiple levels of this cliff. She didn't just because like the cliff was high enough that she didn't have enough rope to get all the way to the top and okay. like lower it down. Oh, there we go. Okay, good job, Gret. I so saw I that seven for so seven. Like, advantage no. though. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yep, no problem. Wow, so you guys twenty-two get up. was the lowest roll, Gret. You're so you're so bad at your skills, getting only a twenty-two. Uh yeah. So um, you managed to get to the top. And yeah, you see a castle. Um, it's pretty, pretty foreboding. Um, how do you want to approach this castle? Stealthily. That's yeah. That's the thing you could do. That will not happen. <laughs> I think the stealth roll probably just. Well, okay. So it is a different situation. So everybody roll stealth again. Um, and I would want to. Okay, I'm just saying already that I would want to mm -hmm. scout it out by myself because I know I'm silent. Sure. Yeah. At least originally and i see that he has chainmail on yeah so just make it make a stealth roll um he... oh man oh my god why am awesome. i rolling so hard no, it's, a nine. Oh. it's a nine. Oh wow it's a, it's a crit wow. fail but i still have a nine wow. why are we all rolling so horribly tonight so that's no good so that's a thing <laughs> Bye, Shayla. You're not gonna get out today. <laughs> the next, like, side stories, like, the, the next five that we're gonna do is just gonna be different adventurers trying to save <laughs> Shayla. Trying to. And dying horribly. Everybody going to the island. Um. So. Um. <laughs> 
I don't think anyone like comes out and starts attacking you. Okay. Oh, uh, that means I they're all gonna be surrounding us later. Well, that's the thing. I think the silence is really eerie now because you know they had to have heard you, but no one comes. Can out. I like There's make no a signs. perception check or something? Sure. Yeah. Just kind of gauge the situation. Fifteen. From your guess, like <clears throat> you can't really hear anything or see anyone. There are windows. Um, okay, so I think you see, you managed to peek through a window, and there would be a light on in the window at least. There's like a couple candles and something. <clears throat> and you see, yeah, like a couple people like looking out the window, like being like, did you hear that? And like, like they, they're talking to each other, but you can't like hear them, obviously, from your distance. But you can see that they're, they have at least kind of noticed that something is going on. So are there two people in there? Yeah, you see like just two like human males it's like pointing out the window and talking like like they heard something okay it's like a kitchen and is that like on the first floor yeah okay actually oh wait no let's not waste a spell <laughs> i should have done this earlier but whatever Theoretically, if I were to jump in a window and attack them, would they be surprised or no? <laughs> no, because oh, your oh. stealth would not, like, you're, you're, you, okay. by the time you got in hearing range of, like, the window very specifically, they would have heard you coming because your stealth was okay. pretty bad. Okay, I want to do something as a ritual. Okay. Because I can, I can just look at them like, uh, this, is not, this does not look to be going very well. Uh, let me let me cons let me do some uh, consulting. <laughs> I'm going to cast augury, which oh, seems okay. fitting. So uh, this this is probably good as time as any then I guess to kind of get a little bit more about what religion you're part of. Um, so yes. like, who are you praying to, right? When you're asking well, this divination. Well, I think a better way the things I am the the things I'm using to cast this are um, some version of urim and thumim. Because what I don't happened, know what that is, so. I mean, <laughs> it, you know, uh, the, uh, kind of like the things from the Old Testament where they would, like, use it to define, to, like, get God's will. The Urim and Thummim. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I know what you're about. okay, so Dragon Jesus. Yes, Dragonborn Jesus still. Because what happened was, is, um, uh, Gret Gretz was a, uh, visiting, cl visiting a cleric in the area at the same night that what was his name a abdris was telling the story of his his friend uh i'll just blanked on my own character's name muldrak <laughs> muldrak and he's telling the story of muldrak and his sacrifice and gret was so moved that he decided he wanted to find ye and help save uh shayla who was captured well she wouldn't have known that by then well he wanted to find ye and just kind of like give like his like condolences as in like for like hearing all this because he heard that and he, he was like this is your mission should you choose to accept it well because he heard that he died I didn't, to... well i didn't know shayla's alive well no he well, I, what so what i'm assuming so... is that he had already gotten the job before oh, Brett okay. found her okay. and you're just like, well, like speaking of shayla well, I, yeah because yeah. Ab abdris tells the story of how he watched um muldrak uh die trying to save his friend he or mm -hmm. friend or whatever like even though he knew even like like even though he knew they were heathens by their standards <laughs> it's like he, he he went and tried to save her anyway putting himself in har harm's way and getting eaten by a dog monster and he was so moved that he decided he wanted to help where he could and f fill in his place because uh because he I had a friend that betrayed him <laughs> no I, well because he uh, I guess I'll give a little bit more backstory. Well, should I, should I wait for this backstory with the gauntlets, or should I... No, I, sorry, I meant Muldrak. Muldrak. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can we can just leave it there. Um, but you can take okay. inspiration, Grat, for sure. Okay. So I have a story behind the gauntlets as well, but I will wait. Mm -hmm. okay. My question is, does Yi know that she's getting Shayla? Like, did the cultist tell her, like, specifically Yeah, I think so. Getting her? Okay. Just curious. Just curious. Which I don't feel like the most connected to Shayla, but also it's a job. 
and they're mm-hmm. yeah. they're hiring. Also, she saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think the people like contacted Yu Yi because they knew that you knew Shayla, but like. Yeah, you n- yeah. maybe didn't necessarily like take the job just because you knew Shayla. It was just because it was a job and it was money. Yeah, if they just were like, "Hey, she's actually alive. She's on this island," I'd be like, mm, "That sucks for her." Yeah. Mm. Oh, great friend you are. <laughs> <laughs> Shayla, like, like, is well, like, like twitching. I Last never week- claimed to be a good friend. Last week we could have said the same to t- same to Shayla. I know. <laughs> Muldrex died thinking she was a horrible person. Yeah. Yep, he no. did. Sad day. So, um, yeah. What, what's the plan, guys? What do you do? Oh uh, well. Oh, oh you're, you're doing augury. That's what. That's what. I happening. cast augury because augury lets us know for if Caleb's about to kill us. <laughs> Is that what it says specifically? <laughs> Uh, yes, was, got, read the spell you. description it says yeah do you want to uh, post it in the chat for us? Will, oh i did already it is it's oh. posted it oh, says cool. uh will will caleb kill us yes or no i don't see that there <laughs> sorry it says oh, by casting what you us, it says you receive an omen from an otherworldly entity of entity about the results of a specific course of action that you plan to take within the next 30 minutes <laughs> yeah so i think i think probably what happens Grat, is that you see um and i think like <clears throat> Uh, Yi and Sayori do not see this this uh, beam that appears before you, but it's almost as if there's been an angel protecting you, like a guardian angel, like next to you the whole time, and they're like they, they're like holding a sword, like facing outward, right, like looking for any danger, and then suddenly they just you can see them, um, mm-hmm. and then it like turns to you, and this angel is like not one of like the angels that like you know um, we imagine probably in 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 uh like that looks like a human but just has like wings and like a halo or whatever this is one of the weird angels that was like described in like revelation so they has like you know 50 eyes and like six wings and like those sorts of weird things and so it's just like this weird like angelic like like monstrosity and it like looks back at you and like with one of its many mouths it says um ask and i shall answer (laughs) uh in in the road in the road forward, will what will we uh, will we meet good fortune or our or our own demise? Like I mean, if you look at it, you have to choose between one of the mm-hmm. four options. That's what exactly is happening to us. Mm-hmm. So essentially, you asking. We will find we'll end woe. We'll okay. end woe. Uh, so the vaguest of answers, but <laughs> of course, what do you expect? Yeah, I, that's a yeah. Okay, so I hear that and I'm like, thank you. I turn to them, I'm like... And then disappears from your view. The road ahead, the road ahead is dangerous. But, uh, good, good, could follow. I don't know how to word that. Um... But it, it is not all darkness ahead. So wait, you, you have to give us a specific course of action. So what was the specific course of action that you... Uh, moving stated? forward, moving, just moving forward, trying to move on. Just, just go in the castle, basically? Just going towards the castle, yeah, I mean... But I'm it's specific, so where, how are you specifically approaching? Uh, I, I figured that was it, sorry. Uh, <laughs> did I would say we probably were planning on trying to just, just sneak in. Okay, yeah, so it's it would be the, that, that, that answer then, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so the road ahead is right. dangerous. That's French. Yep. Um, the road ahead is dangerous, but it is not all doom. How many like windows are on this fortress? Quite a few. Um, yeah, there's like a window, like every I don't know. Um, let's see how many feet this is. There's a window up like thirty feet or so along the edge of the of the wall. And how many lights are on in the windows? Um about half of the light of the windows have lights in, on inside. Would there be any path to the roof passing? You could climb up out. the wall, I suppose. Yeah, and like not go next to ones with lights. Mm-hmm. Would that be a is, is there a, thing a possible you could do. path for that? Okay, so I want to try and, like, walk up the wall and 
peek in windows that have the lights off. Uh, okay. So, uh, if... So, the, the place that you looked into was on the eastern wall. What wall do you climb up? Okay, so... It so was just, like, the, the nearest, east... like, off light? Yeah, so, like, if I'm seeing, like, the wall or whatever, I just want to find, like, if I'm going between windows, just, mm -hmm. like, windows with lights off. Yeah, so if you go to the, um, the northeast corner, like, the tower like of the castle or one of the northeast corners which has this big tower um the the first floor has the lights off in them so you could climb up that way okay yeah um, yes yeah, so so you look and it's like a, 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 a barracks kind of there's like four beds kind of like in a circle around the little base of the tower um and no there's, it doesn't look like there's anyone in it at the moment okay so i keep making my way up i want to get trying or actually no because it's like th it's like three in the morning three or four in the morning so yeah there's actually a couple people sleeping i think Okay, yeah. So I want to try and get to the roof. Sure. So um, the next... So as you kind of creep up that tower, you do see that the next light is on. Okay, so then I want to, like, walk to the side to try and avoid... Um, okay, so if you go down the eastern wall, the lights are still on. Do you want to try to, What about, like... like, going to one of the sides instead of down? Uh, yeah, you could go to on the north edge and the lights okay. would be off. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm just. So this to is the thing. I I think what what's happening. Like... Yeah, you you're, you're you're like scoping out this path, right? And you you think you're probably being a lot more stealthy than you are. I think there's literally a moment where someone like looks out the window and just sees you, and you don't notice them, and like you're just like walking Excellent. up the wall because you got a you you got a crit fail on the stealth. So like I know. Um. Yeah. But yeah, you just keep making your way up the wall. You're letting everyone know that you're here, but. <laughs> oh my god. So you walk up the northern wall. I don't wall. realize that I was that bad, guys. Okay, I'm doing what I would normally do. You walk up the northern wall. Um, the lights are still off. Um, on the third floor, and then you get to the roof. Um, so you just like go over the lip of the roof. I would like to carefully peek over. Okay. Before I just hop um, up. make a perception check. Check. Eighteen. Yeah, so you see, um, here, I'm just going to drag you guys to um, this map now. You see what kind of looks like an old man, short old man with a, like a red like hat on. And he's like kind of against the like, um, they, so there's like a, uh, like a top little like house thing on like a shack kind of on the very top of this like it's like the the um the flat top of the castle but there's like a little shack in the middle of it there's some like catapults to the sides um on, on the sides of this like um the top of the, of the castle and you yeah i slumped against the wall of this shack um it's a kind of big shack but it's like a it kind of looks like run down um you see this like yeah sh short old man looking guy um he has a giant scythe like laid across his lap and he looks like he's like kind of just stirring from sleep like there's someone there how far away is he he looks like this Ew. he does not look pleasant yeah yeah so how far away from uh feet? like 20 feet okay yeah 20 feet so... from the edge of the wall he looks like he's going to see you if you, like, stay looking at him. He's waking up because you are horrible on yourself. I am, yes. Please keep reminding me. Okay. <laughs> um, um, oh, I'd like to throw a dagger at him. This will end well. That's the thing to do. So, so me and Greta are just like up against the wall. Like, what is she doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty Hoping much. that we're hiding, but we're probably not. People probably see us. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to throw a dagger at him. Okay. Would this be a surprise round? Or... Yep. This would be a surprise round, yeah. 
Okay. He's still so, waking up. Okay, so for assassinate, it says in addition, any hit you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit. So does that mean I have to roll to hit him? Yeah, if, as long as you hit him, okay. then it's a critical hit. Okay. So then I have advantage against him because he hasn't taken a turn in combat. And then if I hit him, it's a crit, right? Is that what it is? Um, if that, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Okay. And then I'm just like trying to make sure I have all this correctly. Oops, I didn't click on the token. Okay. So I guess I'm just gonna roll for this dagger. 24. Uh, yeah, that hits, definitely. Okay, so it's a crit, and then also I can roll an additional 2d6 for sneak attack, because I had mm -hmm. advantage. Yep. Yep. Okay, so it's 6, so then do I just roll another d4 for the crit, or do you just double that too? Um... No, you would roll another d4, yeah. Okay, so... So, a uh, d4 and 2d6? 1d4, yeah. yeah. Plus 2d6. So an additional 8. So 14 total. Okay. So what happens is, <clears throat> you stab him in the chest, he wakes up, he's like, Oh gosh darn it! Oh, what, what, what is happening? <laughs> and then he looks over at you, and he sees you, and he just, like, grabs his scythe and, like, slams it on the ground. He's like... Yes, yes, fresh meat tonight. And then he like runs towards you. Um, make an make an initiative roll, I guess. Okay, and Are I'm like, all of us? or just no, the... you you guys are nowhere near this. Like, yeah, he's at the top of the castle. Well, bye, <laughs> bye. Fifteen. Um, so you do get to go first, though, so... Okay, so I get to go again, so yep. then I still have advantage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so you, did he run towards me, or no? He's about to run towards you, because it's not his okay. turn yet, so we can't do it yet. Does he look, like, super injured, or...? Not, not terribly, no. No? Okay. So... I mean, he literally has a dagger sticking out of his chest, so there's that, yes. but, like... Um, so I'm still 20 feet away from yep. him? Okay, so I'm going to run. You know, I'm going to drag I'm... your token over here. Okay. So you actually can see what's going on. So you're right. Whoa, it's a roof. Here. Yeah. Okay, so... I would like to go towards him and attack him with my short sword at advantage. Twelve. Uh, that's definitely not a hit. Dang it. Okay. So I slash at him, and then I use my bonus action to disengage and run back to, to there. Okay. Thanks. Well, on his turn, he is going to rush forward. Uh, let me double check this. Mm. So he's going to use a, a, a an, uh, an action he has called um, Ironbound Pursuit. So it moves up its speed to a creature it can see and kicks with its iron boots. The target must make uh, succeed on a DC 14 dexterity saving throw or take uh, 3d10 plus 4 bludgeoning damage and be Holy knocked prone. Frick. Okay, so it's a dexterity save. Yep. I'm using my inspiration for this. <laughs> this is why I didn't use it on the stupid rope, everybody. <laughs> 21. Oh, good thing you used it. Yep. So, so nothing happens, right? You, you managed to catch his boot as he kicks you. He, so he has, so you didn't notice it before, but he literally has like rock solid iron boots on. Um, and so he kicks you with these iron boots and like, yeah, like you just like managed to like catch it in midair and like push him backwards. Um, but, uh, that's, that's what he does. That's his action. 
Um, okay, so I'm going to slash at him again with my short sword. Okay. 17. Ah, uh, yeah, that hits. So it's just the 8. Mm -hmm. Damage. And then... I'm going to... Slash at him again with my short sword. All right. 22. Yep, that hits. So another six damage. Good, good. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see that you're, like, you're stabbing him and he's bleeding and he's, like, starting to slow down as you, like, stab him. I would hope so. I've done 28 damage to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's his turn. Uh... <laughs> Bye. Oh, oh my god, three! No. Uh... Two of them hit. Okay. So he attacks you lightning quickly with his, like, giant-looking sickle. Oh my god! Oh my god! And does 20 damage. Okay. Um. What do you do? <laughs> I'm gonna slash at him again with my short sword. Okay. 19. Yep, that hits. So 7 damage. Okay. How does he look right now? He's pretty damaged, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> oh. ah! How many hit points do you have left? Um, enough that I'm gonna disengage <laughs> and run, like, back on the wall. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna disengage, and then I'm gonna, like, walk down the wall, like, as far as my movement can get me, like... Yeah, so you basically move, what, 15 feet, and you can move another 15 feet down, uh, down the yeah. wall. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess he, like, runs over to the lip, and he, he looks down at you, and so, <laughs> I think for a second, Yi... I'm just, like, looking up at him, like... <laughs> Yi, this is, uh, this is what happens. Yi, you have a flashback to an old man that you may have dropped on, um, <laughs> back no. at an inn, and you look at the, the look in this, this guy's eye... may eyes. or may not have happened... You look at the look in this old man's eyes, and you see, like, his face, basically. And it's not the same guy, but, like, you know, we, for a second, he has, like, this terrible, like, trauma, traumatic flashback. <laughs> and then what the guy does... Is jump on me? Is he jumps on you. Yeah. Oh, he, no. he jumps no. off of the wall and does his kick move. Oh, no. <laughs> this does not sound good. Everything that has happened in this game so far has led to this moment. <laughs> Oh, guys, this is my destiny. Whatever happens, this is what was. If destined you would like to, to like wax poetic about Yi for a little bit, you could like get some uh, 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 inspiration. Yeah, tell us something um, about I Yi. definitely will because I haven't even like told you about her backstory. Yeah, do it. Um, and there's definitely uh, reasons why she went the assassin route. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so she grew up on the streets. She doesn't know what happened to her parents, and when, uh. One day when she had survived on her own on the streets for a little while, she was probably around 20 to 25 at the time. Um, the, a, a Spanish caravan passed through town. Um, they had been going through China to try and find, like, spices, um, silk, like, interesting stuff that China would have that Spain would not um, mm -hmm. And as they passed through the town, for some reason, the leader of the the caravan saw Yi um, and saw, like, how, like, pathetic she looked. And as a 25-year-old elf girl, she definitely did not look like she was 25. She looked like a small child still. Mm -hmm. um, and kind of, like, dirty on the streets, like, just with, like, some stuff around her. And out of the goodness of his heart, took pity on her and gave her some gold and um, told her to, like, use it wisely to get her life together, um, which he did. And kind of, like, from there um, was able to make a little something of her life and have a home and start, um, like able to get a job and like make her own money and 
then he he did say that at some point I would be able to repay his favor. So like at the time it was like, okay, whatever. And 75 years pass and nothing happens. And it's just kind of like, okay, whatever. And one day to her home, Yi gets a note. And she gets a note that uh, all it says is kill. And then it says Alonzo de Vaca. It's just like this name she's never heard of, but it sounds Spanish. And um, it just is like signs like, you know who. And she's just like, oh my gosh, 75 years pass and he's finally come to collect his money or to collect on his favor. So that is why she's been traveling along the countryside and through the continents to try and get to Spain to figure out who this man is that she's supposed to kill um, for, the, for the man who, like, she kind of owes her life to. She wouldn't be anything um, if he hadn't taken pity on her and given her some coin and a chance in life. So that's kind of her motivation besides just, like, getting gold is she needs to get to Spain because she needs to pay back this favor um, and kill this man, whoever he is, whatever he's done. She doesn't know and honestly, like, doesn't really care. She'd rather not know and just kind of, like, it's, an, it's just a job that she has to do to pay back the favor of this man that she doesn't know if, like, it was actually from him, if he's dead by now. She doesn't think humans live that long, so it's like, he might be dead, I don't know. But someone who knew about this favor sent her this note. And so she, as she's on this wall, thinking about like all the crimes she's committed up until this point, having jumped on the man who wouldn't move um, and everything, <laughs> not only like fearing for, her, <laughs> fearing for her life at this point, but then also knowing that if it all ends right here, she won't be able to fulfill the deal she made mm -hmm. 75 years ago. And you're still going to fail and just fall to your death. It's going to be amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> so oh, there we go. That's my long waxing poetic. Awesome. About yeah, so take inspiration. Why she, why she needs to do this. Oh my with the deck save. Yep. DC 14 <sighs> dexterity save with, with advantage. advantage. Here we go. 19. Oh, there you go. So what happens is you do the same move, right? You grab his foot and you just like twist and he just tumbles to his death. Um, yeah. And he, he basically just says, no, no, I wanted to taste your, and then he just hits the ground, crumples into just a mess, a bloody mess. Uh, yeah. So if your crit stealth roll hadn't warned everybody before. That really did. Yeah. Um <laughs> Yeah, so uh And so I'm we gonna... just see this man just falling down <laughs> yeah. like Do we hear the heck ye? <laughs> do we hear like yelling as we're do we hear the yelling as we're sitting there? Oh yeah, definitely. I think he lands like pretty close to I us. think so, yeah, I think that makes sense. Um so at this point, um, I'm going to pull down the wall and get his boots. Oh, wait, you already have awesome shoes. I, I'm not giving up my boots. I kind of want those boots. I love my slippers. You guys can investigate whatever you want. Um, so... so he falls and you go, oh, yeah, boots. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, Gret, yeah, you like, I should just make Gret Swedish now because that was funny. <laughs> I want to keep saying that. Oh yeah. Um. So at this point, okay. So I want to walk back up to the roof mm -hmm. and tie. Do those are those like trebuchets? Those are catapults. But yeah. Catapults. Whatever they do, they look like they're pretty heavy and yeah, secure. they're pretty sturdy. If you tied a rope to it, you could yeah. Yeah, I'd like to tie a rope to it and like mm -hmm. throw a rope over the wall. I don't know if we're gonna want to climb ropes after all this. No, good. Look, I'm just gonna do that, and then I want to hide on the roof to kind of see what's gonna happen. Sure. Okay. Make a stealth roll. Okay, guys, let's do this. Eight, uh, or it's a ten. It's a ten, because it's a plus two as well. Yeah. 
Uh, so you adequately hide, um, just barely. Um, and, and, and I want to make sure, like, my party knows that a rope yeah. has been thrown over, and <laughs> I'm on the roof, hopefully not going to be found. Yeah, so basically what you see, guys, is you see this old man, like, yelling, and then crumples to the ground in front of you guys. He's just also, he, they dead. saw him trying to land him. Yeah, oh yeah, you, you, you think you, you basically figured that out. But Oh no! And then you... <laughs> <laughs> and then you see a rope just like snake its way down and like hang there. Do I need to make a roll for tying the rope? Uh, yes. I'll make it another uh, dexterity check. Does this have advantage with it or no? Yes. Yep. 15. Yep, so 15. Not too bad. <laughs> So, I mean, Greg, did you want to actually like take the guy's boots? Was that a thing that you wanted to do? Kind of, if they you, can do that. You sure as heck better take my dagger back. So, I mean, t technically, what I think what you see happen is that, you know, the guy, the red cap hits the ground and, like, just, like, crumples into a ball of, like, just, like, flash, right? Because it's, like, broken so many bones. Oh, no. And then it just starts fading away. Um, It just starts, like, crumbling dust. And it literally, the only thing that's left is its sickle and its boots. What oh, about yeah. my dagger? Yeah, then your dagger there too. Yeah. You guys better take my I'll dagger. I'll pick up the dagger and I'll look at the boots. Do they look and I kind of look at my shoes? Does it look like they could fit me? Um, I was I was gonna say make a luck check, but that's not in this game. Um, last time they didn't. Let's... Well, he was a medium sized person. No, he was actually a small. Actually, yeah, so they wouldn't fit you. No, I just I was just looking at his. Yeah. Okay, fine. He's like halfling sized. <laughs> Fingers Thanks. now when I'm not the halfling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Save up for um, nah. um okay, I mean Yeah, you guys gonna climb up the rope? I don't think Sayori really wants to climb another rope. But Neither was, does Gret. But at the same time, like she doesn't really know what else to do. I mean it's either that or you guys get stuck like separated from Yi, like on the bottom. I have two right? I have two hit points. I am gonna hide out until i I'm either killed or my party <laughs> comes up to find me. I'm going to try climbing it and I'm gonna use my inspiration. Alright, roll that athletics. Well first first mm -hmm. first I am going to cast healing word on myself. Okay. Yeah, so it's about like forty-five feet to the top of the of the tower. So that plus yeah, top of the castle. Oh, is that plus five actually? Be wait, actually, wait, no, is that right? Plus three. Be plus three again, yeah. Oh, the spells level, not my cleric level. So I heal seven. I go to eighteen. Ugh. Stop saying uh. I have two. <laughs> I know, but I can't handle Stop. that far, far of a fall. Um, so athletics check. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a- I'm gonna say a little prayer, hoping that I won't die. Oh, good. Oh, thank. Yep. Thank there Dragon G. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Man, See, I so- I so up. wish I had a slow fall right now. Like, uh -huh. this makes me feel so much better yep. about going up. I- I- I would say, as I go up, um, I'm gonna kinda hold on to the rope in hopes that it doesn't fall. So, like, to give it some extra support. Mm -hmm. Say, can't you like help me up? <laughs> yeah, probably. I'm if she was in hiding. Yeah, great. You don't see her up uh, on the top when you get up there. Would I have heard his chainmail clinking though? Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so I I like kind of peek my head out and I'm, I'm gonna over. use my inspiration to to take do an acrobatics check. Again. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. There you go. You guys are now on the roof. <laughs> on the top of the roof. Um yeah, so you don't see ye anywhere. What's what's the plan? I sit down and just kind of catch my breath because I was nervous the entire way up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I wanna like peek my head out from wherever I'm hiding. Sure, like yeah. So you so see them, like, see maybe, like, untying the rope from the catapult? Yeah, and I just kind of go, did one of you get my dagger? I I, I had grabbed it off the guy when I was looking at the shoes. I'm like, here you go. And I, like, kind of, like, like, hobble over, and I look really rough. 
And I'm going to go ahead and use my single channel divinity to preserve life on her to give her yes. 15 hit points. I can only go up to half my hit points, right? So. Uh... No more than half their hit points, yeah. Okay, thanks. Now I'm up to... 13. Better than nothing. Better. Yep. Way better than two. So I think I think at this point you guys can definitely hear like the castle mobilizing, right? Because a lot of them were sleeping before, and that's part of the reason that they didn't like all like just go out and attack you at first, right? Um, but now it seems like everybody's basically awake in the castle. Like it's there's bustling, there's movement. You can hear that from from below. Um, yeah. What do, what do you want? What, what do you want to do? Don't worry, guys. We got this. <laughs> um, what is this this thing on top of the roof? Is this a built the shack? That's on top of the roof. Uh, yeah. I. So... so you probably were hiding it. What am I doing? I don't know why I'm. That's me. Yep, that's you. I just don't know why I did that. <laughs> I, I was meant to click Control L because then I could see what you saw. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if you go inside, which is probably where you hid, it's basically yeah. like a siege equipment repair place, right? It's just like there to like make sure that the siege equipment up here has everything it needs. So. Does it seem like there would be anything like daggers or extra things that I'd be able to throw at people? No, there's no like conventional weapons. It's just like stuff for the, the siege weapons. Okay. Um, is there like a way to get into the building from in there? Uh, you the see, fort? yeah, you see that this tower um, down here, uh, the like bottom left tower, still has like. Uh, um, height on it, and you can't see what's inside. Uh, where the where the rest of them, right? Like the, you can see, there's a catapult on each of them. That that tower still, like, has um, some higher thing above it, and then you can't see inside. So it's like the, you can go in there, and that's probably where you'd go down as well, right? So yeah, maybe like a uh, staircase or something. I think that's where we should go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think probably what happens, right, is we cut to cut to our second break. Um, as you guys like get to the tower and you see it's a scare staircase, and you just start heading down, I guess. Start... Yeah. <laughs> well, you can try. Yeah, I was about to say, are we going to be allowed to redo stealth checks now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do it, and this will be basically for the rest of the time you're inside the castle. Oh, oh gosh. This is gonna be bad. Well, I don't know. The other ones were bad. Maybe this one will finally be good. Yeah, not bad. There 15 you go. Or 16. That's pretty good. Okay. 16. There you go. 12. Oh. <laughs> well, I wasn't the most stealthy person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it's, it's basic. It's good enough to beat most random lackeys' passive perception. Um, so. Uh, but yeah, so we, we see you guys head down the tower, uh, head down the staircase uh, to the rest of the tower. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll go to break and then come back and find out what you find. Um, it's really interesting because you're coming from the top of the castle, which is not exactly how I planned this to go. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. She's probably in a dungeon in the basement. When probably. we return. Uh, we'll be right back with more Terranelius right after this. Stick around. <laughs> 